Uh, good morning out there, everybody. Hope everybody ain't froze up. I'll tell you what, it's pretty cold here. <laughs> Down in Southern Appalachia. It's been a cold few, few nights and actually a week. It's not first part of January. It's around the 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, somewhere around there, I guess. Man, it was nine degrees last night. Wow. Well, we're going to do a video today. Uh, we're going to do a one on uh, Coke. Yeah, that's right, Coke. Coke, like a uh, used for making steel, folks. Uh, I know the last video I did and a few cold videos before that, I mentioned the name Coke and shows you a Coke oven or two. And uh, I'd like to go over today about how we how we did it here uh, in this area that I'm in here and uh, what it was used for, and how they made it and all that. We'll be interested. So uh, y'all strap on, cause I'm telling you it's pretty slick out here today. Supposed to have a big snowstorm today, eight, five to eight inches, four to six or something like that. So we'll see if that all happens today. Hopefully I can get this video today done before the snow starts flying, you reckon? But anyhow, let's get out of here and try to find some of these coke ovens and we'll kind of talk about what they were used for and how they, uh, how it was done back in the day. Hit you in a bit. Well, folks, I wanted to go over this again here. Uh, the cars are going by. You know, I done a video the other day I was talking about how the cold went up the mountain and all that here at this plant. The reason it went up the mountain was refuge, like for slate and stuff like that. And uh, over the years, as time went on, a lot of coal went up the mountain and with that. And so they didn't rebuild the plant. So over time, there was a lot of good coal went up on this mountain. So probably millions of tons, or thousands of tons and went up this mountain. And now, over the years went by, new plants went, went in, and uh, over time, and uh, they got more, they got more and more uh, updated on their plants, and now they can bring it back off the mountain and refine it and put it back off the market. So that's what I wanted to add in on this because I didn't mention that the last time on my video. So uh, a lot of coals on that mountain mixed with that slate so now they just bring it back off of here and re uh, clean it and ship it out of here so uh we're going to talk a little bit about coke and coke ovens and all that what what it's all about i know i've mentioned it in several videos doing uh coal videos but i never went into any kind of depth of what they are first off coke what is coke it is a gray hard porous material coal-based fuel with a high carbon content. It is made by heating coal or petroleum in absence of air. So it's it's made, uh, it's heated up with no oxygen in it. Coke is an important industrial product used mainly in iron ore smelting, but also as a fuel in stoves and forges. Uh, the unqualified term coke usually refers to the product derived from low ash and low sulfur bituminous coal by process. And that's what we have here is bituminous coal. Uh, especially through here at uh, the area I'm in here on the number two area. But I was going to mention also that uh, I only mentioned two mines there in the last video. It was number two and number 10. But my goodness, this hollow was full of mines. You had them two through 14 uh, different mines around here. A lot of different mines. Uh, I just mentioned two of them because it was right here where I was at it the other day. But, uh, yeah, Coke is, uh, used to make steel out of for sure. And, uh, uh, the Coke ovens is all in these hillsides up here along the road. Uh, we'll look at some of them here just a little bit. Maybe try to look inside of one real close. We'll see. But, uh, how big are they? Well, they're made like a bee beehive, uh, like in the uh, shape of one. It's typically about 
uh, 13 feet wide and about eight foot high. The roof is, uh, has a hole for charging the coal. We'll see if we can see it in the roof of one and see if it's got a hole in it for that. Uh, uh, coal is introduced from the top to produce an even layer of about 60 to 90 centimeters or 24 to 35 inches deep. Air is supplied initially to ignite the coal. Carbonization starts and produces volatile matter which burns inside the partial closed side door. Okay. Carbonization proceeds from top to bottom and completed two to three, three days. Well, it takes about two to three days to do that. Wow. The exhaust gases are allowed to escape to the atmosphere. The hot coke recovered. The exhaust gases are uh, quenched the water and is discharged manually through the side door. When the oven is used on a continuous basis, the walls and the roof retain enough heat to initiate carbonization of the next charge. Wow. That's cool. Says the source. What kind of coal would we use? Well, usually it's here. It's bituminous coal. It must be said of a criteria used for the coke. Determining the particular coal assay techniques, these include moisture content, ash content, and sulfur. You know, last time when I was mentioning about, uh, I would take uh, go to the laboratory and take sacks of coal from one mine to the other. They were sampling it for this content. I said, and they go mixing this coal with other coal to make this good coal for coke. So, uh, yeah. Wow. So real quick, we'll try to go over uh, preparation real quick. Uh, one, coal selection preparation. Coking, uh, the process begins with a careful selection of the specific types of coal known as coking coal, metal metallurgical coal. <laughs> Key properties, coking coal, should uh, possess high carbon content, low impurities. All right. And then this coal needs to be pre-treated, uh, crushing, sizing. This is through a prep plant, like this old great big one here. Uh, coal is crushed to size to ensure uniformity and proper particle size. Coal blending, blending different types of coal allows the optimization of coke quality. Yeah, I remember I was talking about it earlier about taking different sacks up there to have them analyzed there to see what different mines the content of, of the coal. Uh, and then there's a moisture remover. The coal has to be dried out. This is before they even put it in the in the oven. Well, here we go now. Charging the oven. Prepare the coal is charged into a uh, coke oven, and which is set at a high temperature. Oven design, coke ovens are designed to withstand high temperatures, promote, promote uh, control carbonization. So the production of coke involves a series of well-defined steps, including coal selection, preparation, and the coking process itself. Coke plays a, a vital role in the industries, like uh, steel melting, uh, foundries, non-ferrous, metal due to the desire of physical properties and high carbon content. Yes, this uh, coke was very much, much, much needed and well, they still use it. But uh, yeah, this uh, this was a pretty big deal, man. They might hear a, a mining the coal underground, bringing it outside, running it through a preparation plant. And then uh, getting this all ready for the coke ovens to make the coke to, to send for the making of steel products. Wow, this is a big thing. Just imagine all these these ovens and these banks and hillsides all, all up and down these roads are running all at the same time, what that would have looked like back in the day. I'm sure there's people around that's seen them in operation. Hopefully I've got maybe a little clip here of one in operation at one time or another. But, uh, we're going to go out here. We're going to look at some some uh, Coke ovens. Hopefully, we'll get up close to one and maybe see inside of it and maybe look at uh, a big row of them somewhere. I've got, I've got some pictures of some. But, uh, yeah. Well, let's go take a look, see. See if we can find any of them.
and uh, we'll try to take a look inside. We call the beehive type uh, coke ovens. They actually went hundreds of feet down through there, uh, probably several hundred yards. But uh, we'll see if we can look inside of this one here, if we can. We got a critter in there or something. Let's see. see how them things are made right there oval shape in the top and as you see right there in the top right there you had a hole and that they would drop the coal down in here and they would seal this opening up temporarily that is as they uh, fired their, their coal to uh, make their coke so I wanted to show you this right here real quick this is the best looking one I can find to actually show you what it looked like inside of here uh, would like to find you a piece of coke, but I don't look like I'll, I'm able to. Look like there've been people up in here drinking. <laughs> look at there, uh, them, them bottles there. Wow, but yeah, that's all brick lined in there. And you've got a hole right here in the top, right there. These here were made back in the 30s and 40s. They invented them in the uh, 1800s, uh, which uh, I've talked about there. So uh, I wanted to show you this. It's really interesting. But this is what you call a big old oven for sure. Okay, folks, I'm uh, up here at number eight. It's one of them mines between two and 14 here. I was gonna show you these, these Coke ovens up through here. There's a whole line of them down through here. I want to show you. They're about uh, six to eight feet apart and they're stretched all up and down this, this old railroad track here. At one time they've done a lot of coking here before and uh, this whole community up and down through here is full of these old coke ovens like this. I've been up there before but uh, I'm not going today. It's kind of cold out here as you can see. It's snowing. Get ready to get a big snow here for long today. I just wanted to show you this here, uh, how they lined them all up. We've seen pictures, but uh, we didn't see actual uh, coke ovens. But uh, yeah, this here was a big deal here. Just, just think about all of them a, a burning at one time, cooking that coke. Wow, it's unreal. It just keeps on going down through here, for sure. Well, I just thought I'd show you this here uh, while I was out and uh, let y'all see these, how they are. I Man, it's, it's unreal. It's a pile of them down through there. All right. Folks, uh, <clears throat> it's one little last stop I wanted to show y'all here. This is uh, right here at the mouth of Gary. It's a great big silo here that they kept water in back in the day that uh, they would fill the old steam trains that come in and out of here from what I've read. This is all that's left standing of it right here. Looks like it's about 75 foot tall or better. It's huge. But they said that's what this was at one time was a thing that uh, held water for the old steam trains back in the day. Folks, I'm going to end this video out today. I just want to thank you so much for coming along with me and uh, hope we learned a little bit something about coke ovens I did today. So we'll see y'all next time on Appalachian Roots with Dan. Catch y'all later. Bye.